Well, hello, my YouTube, my YouTube friends. <laughs> uh, got my messy table here. Live by myself, so I don't really use this table much for eating, but it sure does come in fun for some other stuff. Anyway, this time we're going to look at uh, House of Miniatures. It was put out by the Exacto Company uh, back in the late 70s or early... Uh, Maybe the early 80s. I don't see a date on them. But at any rate, they're depicting old-fashioned furniture. Circa 1950. I'm sorry. 1750 to 1790. And uh, these are... these A few of them I've picked up at yard sales. A few of them I had in my... Uh, in a shop at one point and I, I hadn't gone into debt for any of my stock or anything like that so when I went out of business I uh, just packed it up and thought boy I'm gonna have some fun one day then my husband became ill and that's been about uh, 17 years ago he was ill for for many many years and uh, God blessed him through his illness a lot, but he finally took him home. This is a Chippendale sofa, 1750 to 1790. This box is actually out of the cellophane. It, it, they come with a really nice uh, thing that you can cut out to give you the details. The instructions are extremely uh, thorough. And uh, you just got to be able to read and do what they say. And you can end up with some really nice. You could make some of them the shabby, cheap, shabby chic stuff like you see people do. I tend to like the traditional look. Here's a, a little, uh, let me see. I think it's a early 1800s. Uh, it includes two chairs with padding and and uh, instructions and all that stuff. And this one here is a Heppel White table and it's got different leaves in it where you can really pull it out to have a nice big old dinner. And actually that clock was available. I'm not sure. I have some other boxes that I haven't gone through yet. I don't recall if I have that clock or not, but whew, if I don't, I want it. So I'll have to start checking for it. Here's a drop leaf table. I mean, excuse me, a desk. My, de my desk, I have a desk like this. It has four drawers. And uh, it has the bookcase on the top. This is also part of the Exacto uh, things. And, and it's just uh, gives you everything you need to make what you see there. And here's a table. And those little chairs are not included in this one. This is a uh, just the components for the one table. Uh, here is a little chest from that company that has been put together. And uh, the drawers are very easy to bring out. And uh, there's many things you, you really pay attention. It's good for storing things that are broken, too. <laughs> uh, that, but, you know, I... Uh, I try to make it look kind of real, you know. I uh, like I said, I'm not really. A, I, I I could I would love doing a house in in shabby chic, if that's what you call it. But I don't really want to. Uh, I'm more into into the traditional looking stuff. And this is another plastic kit from a from a company called Calico Miniatures. I believe they've they I bought this from the same company where I got my Christ in bond but I guess maybe this had a different designer but there was a nursery kit there's one that's got uh, a bassinet and a chest uh, for the baby's clothes and then there's one uh, there's a like the the bassinet that has the little soft tubby thing like you use in the in the nursery with the really small babies. And this again is really true to scale. This comes with um, a crib 
can you see it? A crib frame, a spring, a mattress, and a decal for the end of the crib. But it is really nicely done. Now, if you'd like to see that put together, eventually I probably will do it. But Joanne's Minis on YouTube has already put either that one together or she had the one with the canopy. I don't recall for sure which. But they're both a lovely piece of, uh, of uh, miniature work. And uh, anyway, I've already had this camera shut me off twice and I've had to redo this. So while I'm ahead, I think I'll say good night. And uh, it, I'll try my best to get this up tomorrow. They, uh, so far, the ones I have put up take hundreds of minutes I've got to have my computer tweaked because I know good and well it should not take that long to put up a 10 minute video or less. Um, I'm also going to do some uh, Sculpey and some of those things and I'm, as I said in the other one I'm going to try to uh, make some more porcelain style uh, plates but I'm going to really measure closely and it's really easy to figure out what size something should be. All you got to do, first first thing I ever did in miniatures, my husband was doing model airplanes and they used balsa wood, which is extremely fragile. And But I got tired of not having my, my table because back then we were family. We needed to eat, but airplane stuff on it all the time. Good thing we had a table in the kitchen. But anyway... I just kind of got bored one day, and I thought, well, boy, that looks fun. So I scrounged a few pieces of his extra wood, and I thought, well, now, how do I know what size to make it? And I thought, well, okay, I'll go measure my dresser. And I went and measured my dresser, and it was four foot long. And it was, I don't know, maybe 30, 32 inches high, I don't recall. But I sat down with some graph paper and I drew out my little uh, pattern to make it. And lo and behold, I made a bed that was really pretty. All I had to do was measure my bed. And then I made a fancier headboard and I made the dresser. And I, uh, uh, I came, I thought I invented the one inch scale. <laughs> Of course, I found out later how funny that was because it was all around me. And then I ran into a lovely little, uh, oh, I think it was in a building supply place in their things, but I ran across a lovely little magazine that showed all kinds of little things to do. And so anyway, here I am at eight minutes. It's still recording. And while it's still recording, I'm going to say good night. I hope you, once again, will uh, share me with your friends. I hope you will check uh, uh, if you like and let me know what miniature, I mean, what furniture you might would like to see put together first. And uh, if you would, subscribe. Because uh, I've already gotten set up to where I'm what they call monetized. But in order for me to make any really money, I've got to uh, have a lot of subscribers and a lot of viewers and a few likes and comments and things like that. But uh, this is what I call a dream way of making money because uh, yeah, I know it's not going to be much money, but an extra twenty, thirty dollars here going in the bank, it'll you know helps help uh, put a little gas in the car and stuff like that. Meanwhile, Lord bless you all, and I hope you have a, a good evening, and uh, I'll try my best to get this up tomorrow. If So far, it's taken about uh, 12, no, not 12, about four or 500 minutes to put up every, any, each particular thing that I have put up, except for that very first one that was only like a minute and a half. But anyway, uh, I got lots of other toys here to share with you at another time. You take care. Uh, have fun. This is fun. Uh, you know, if you got a shower to go to, make somebody a nursery. It's not that hard to do it. Uh, first little nursery I ever made, the dresser, and it was a, was a one of the large jello boxes. And I painted it and 
glued some drawers on the front of it and it, it was cute but here